Welcome to our virtual academy. I guarantee you won't have experienced anything quite like this before. Let's get you practicing teleporting. You'll see some tiles lighting up orange. Move your target to those tiles and teleport onto them. We'll soon turn you into a teleporting guru. To leave the VR environment temporarily and get into the visual pass-through view, simply double tap the side of your headset like this and then to get back into the virtual environment, double tap again. Grab the seat cover, floor mat and steering wheel cover and then place them into their blue ghosted images. First step, grab the orange glowing crocodile clip at the end of the red cable and then, with your other hand, grab and lift the cover for the positive terminal. Then place the red crocodile clip into its blue ghosted image. Good. 12.92 volts. That means the multimeter is working and that the battery is not being charged at this moment in time. Pick up the 3 8 drive ratchet from the tool trolley. With your other hand, pick up the short extension bar. Attach the extension bar to the 3 8 drive ratchet. Pick up the 10 mil socket and attach it to the extension bar on the ratchet. Remove the 10mm bolt from the high voltage access point plate. Put the ratchet back on the tool trolley. Remove the crocodile clip and place it on the tool trolley. Pick up the red probe, which is highlighted orange, and place it on the end of the red lead, and then place it back on the tool trolley. Now do the same with the black lead. OK, good. The voltage between the high voltage positive and high voltage negative of the wires between the high voltage battery and the inverter is zero. Let's keep testing. Access the repair manual once more. Select the inverter assembly torque figures by lasering and triggering the appropriate manual. Adjust the torque wrench to the correct torque for the 10 mil bolt. To adjust the torque wrench, hold it and pull the trigger. To adjust the torque setting, press either A or B or X or Y depending upon the hand you are using to hold the torque wrench. Then to confirm your setting, pull the trigger. So, now adjust the torque wrench to the correct torque for the 10mm bolt and pull the trigger to confirm the setting. Pick up the ratchet with its socket from the tote tray. Now unscrew the four bolts holding the AC to DC converter in place. Place the bolts in the tote tray. Now turn the knob of the mega ohm meter to the ohm section. To do this, Grab and twist the dial. Now grab and hold the two tips of the leads together. The reading on the screen should be zero ohms. Good, that reading was okay too. Now laser and trigger the test and hold button on the front of the mega ohm meter and then grab the black probe.
place one of the probes onto the casing of the AC to DC converter and connect the other probe to any one of the high voltage terminals. Expect to see a high value. We're talking mega ohms. Now place one of the probes on the casing of the AC to DC converter and the other on the chassis ground. In line with ECE R100, you're looking for a reading to be less than 0.1 ohms. Connect the charge plug onto the vehicle's charge socket. Does the vehicle start charging? Close the bonnet. Close the boot. OK, it's time for a road test. OK, the road test was successful and after a fault code scan, you find no codes have appeared. You know what that means? Yes, you've done it. Shh.